magic? No. No magic. Gravity. Gravity. Chase? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna learn Crawl, a three packet flourish. So, before we get into the actual explanation, I think there is one important movement that you should know from beforehand. And that is that in an elevated dealer's grip, your index finger could actually push a packet out like so. You might have seen a similar motion, having people send packets over. And I really like this, I thought it was cool. I think things that come off the bottom were nice. Then, a while ago, Oliver Sogard showed me a variation he had, having one packet here and peeling off like that. It was more like this, and then he'd go into his own motion. That eventually evolved into quicksand, which is one of his newer cuts. I really like that, so I wanted to come up with my own opener, and that's what we'll get into first. You're going to start in a dealer's grip with the deck at your fingertips. Your thumb is going to be on the back. Your pinky is going to be here on top. These three fingers really have nothing to do. But your pinky is going to peel off about a third of the deck. It could be less, it could be more. And your index is going to engage in that motion. And what happens now is when that index finger peels that bottom packet, the bottom packet is really gliding under, and that middle packet is just resting on your left index fingertip. Which means that now, we could swing it all the way around like so. And that's the initial opener for this cut. Pinky thumb, pinky peels off, peel that bottom packet and swing it around. The next part is a regrip. You're gonna swing out. Your left thumb is gonna contact that your right index is going to contact the middle packet as well. And note now that the middle packet is being held freely. Once again, we're going to swing around. We're going to regrip. Now that middle packet is being held freely. For the next part, you're going to turn everything over. And because that top packet, or what's now the bottom packet, is being held entirely by your pinky and thumb, it could actually swing over and land like so. So let's see what we have so far. We swing around, regrip, turn hands over, this lands like so. So we're going to swing around, left thumb regrips that middle packet, right index regrips, Everything turns over, and because that top packet is being held entirely by your thumb and pinky, as you turn over, you could swing this over and around. One more time, we lift up, we swing around, out, these two contact, and it goes over. As we get into the closer, it's important to note that as this is coming over, it's not actually landing flush. You're not really going to let go of the packets. Instead, once you get to here, you want to keep the grip because your left middle finger 
is gonna now hold it like so. And now you have this hinge. Let's show you that again. Now you have that hinge. As that's happening, simultaneously your right thumb is gonna hold this corner and your right index finger is gonna hold that corner. And this ring is... Ring finger. Yes, ring finger. Good call, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna go around, and it's kind of awkward because a lot of things happen at once, but you're gonna have to re-grip, and that should be able to hinge. I'm sure a lot of you have just played with the hinging idea, so you might understand it a bit better. But this comes around. All the way to the bottom. One more time. All the way to the bottom. And it might help you understand this motion better if you simply pick up a packet just like this, turn everything over, and kind of begin that hinging motion. And that might help you understand what's going on in crawl. But you're gonna swing, these are gonna re-grip, hands turn as this turns, you don't close, your left middle touches that, this changes positions to here. Once you're here, you're home free, and you simply close. And that's crawl. No one even said anything about my outfit, <laughs> fuck. Quick overview from the top. You won't be in straddle grip. You'll be in an elevated dealer's grip. Thumb and pinky, contact the packet. Pinky peels up, left index pushes that. This is the first position of importance. This is then gonna swing around these are gonna move out in opposite directions. And as that's happening, your index contacts the middle packet, your left thumb contacts this packet. It's now being held entirely by those fingers. You are now gonna turn around. This is gonna swing over. It's not gonna close. As your left middle makes this hinge, your right hand gets into this grip. And this now swings over like that. On a note, while you're doing this, your hands almost turn over as you're changing grips of that middle packet. Also, because I think the coolest part of this whole flourish is this swing, which looks pretty nice. Make a conscious effort to get that left hand packet out of the way to emphasize this movement. And that's crawl.
Fire, dude. 